Hi friends, I'm going to go out by the lake and talk to you today, and the reason I'm going to do that is because the house is full of people. <laughs> Been having fun with uh, the granddaughters, and uh, that's the reason that I didn't get a video out yesterday, Friday, for the first time in over a year. I'm out here by the lake, and... It's early in the morning. One of the things I love about the view here is this. See, the clouds that hang in the valley. When we drove on the south side of Lake Chapala, that's the valley we went up towards Mazamitla, um, up into the El Tigre Mountains. There's a night heron. They always look like hunched over old men sitting there. Oh, look at here. He's spreading his wings for us. Over here in the tree we have cormorants having some issues with each other. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So, I'm going to sit here and have a little chat with you. I didn't get a video out, as I said, because I've been playing with the granddaughters and it's been a lot of fun. Let me tell you a couple of things that we did and you will be uh, seeing videos about it. We went to the Balneario yesterday. That's the uh, thermal waters that are only... Uh, a few miles west of Ahihik. They have huge big swimming pools. I think I did a video some time ago about um, some other people who were visiting that we went to the Balneario. Anyway, that's fun. So um, you'll see the three 18 year old granddaughters uh, at the Balneario. What we did uh, three days ago you will definitely be seeing, we were invited to go to a bed and breakfast, which is also a retreat and a wellness center here in Ahihik, up at the top of the hill, a very nice place. We were comped a couple of rooms for the evening and in return for me doing a video, and I'm working on editing all of that and putting it together. Uh, we had a great time up there, and you will enjoy seeing a very beautiful place, one of the premier properties here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. You know, I wasn't going to do a video today. And then the first comment I sat down and read this morning, subscriber and viewer Jim Levy, he just wrote a video for me. He asked a whole bunch of questions that I will enjoy answering. You know, it's the easiest kind of video for me to make is to sit down and answer subscriber questions. And I think that they're probably um, some of the most um, uh, useful videos for my viewers. They're the easiest video for me to do, and um, they seem to be some of the most popular videos that I do. Anyway, wasn't going to do a video, but uh, thank you, Jim, for the questions. He just wrote a video for me. So, question number one. Do you have to live with cockroaches? <laughs> yes, you have to live with cockroaches. There are little teeny tiny ones, and those are the little German ones. We don't have very many of those. I see maybe one in a month. Um, but the bigger ones, it's the little German ones that are really bad. I used to live in Florida and they can be horrible, terrible. The bigger ones, um, yes, we have the house uh, sprayed for cockroaches and scorpions about three times a year. Some people do it even more often. It costs me uh, 900 pesos, which is like 45, 50 bucks. US and they spray not only inside the house every room and they spray along the the uh, mop boards and then you have to tell the maids not to mop the floor 
that day. Um, and they spray all outside in the gardens and stuff too. So when you do find a cockroach or a scorpion in the house, they're not well. They're sick from that uh, spray. Do you have to live with cockroaches? Yes, Jim, you have to live with cockroaches. <laughs> do you have air conditioning? I've addressed this many times. We don't need air conditioning here. I'm not aware of anybody that has air conditioning. Uh, there may be some air conditioned spaces in some hotels, but uh, it's about 75 degrees here all the time. All the time. <laughs> Uh, very, very few people would have air conditioning, and nobody has central heat. We have fireplaces, but they're mostly ornamental. Well, there will be a segue here. My phone shut off. Do you feel totally safe, like you are sure nobody would break into your place? I've had several videos about uh, security here at Lake Chapala about the dangers of Mexico in general and I would hope that uh, if you're seriously interested in uh, some informative videos about those that you'd go and watch those videos. Do I feel safe? Yes, I feel safe. Do I think nobody's ever going to break into my house? Well, what part of the world do you live in and hide your head in the sand to think that? It's not a daily concern. I'm not sitting around worrying about people breaking into my house. And I've lived in this house since 2004. And it hasn't been broken in. So what's that? That's, uh, that's uh, 15 years I've lived in this house. And it has not been broken into. So I guess the argument could be made that it's not a great concern. Do people get robbed on the street? No, people do not get robbed on the street. Do you drink the water and how do you get water? We do not drink the water out of the faucet in the bathroom or the kitchen. Um, people who live in different parts of the world have different flora and fauna in their gut. And when Mexicans go to the United States, they're subject to having Montezuma's revenge also because it's a different flora and fauna, fauna in the food and whatever. So people come to Mexico, they get sick. Now, a lot of times it's because they're 22 years old and they drank too much tequila. But there is a difference in different parts of the world in what kind of bacteria is in your food. Yes. Um, People get sick, but after living here for many, many years, uh, we brush our teeth with the water out of the faucet. We don't drink it. We don't make coffee with it. How do we get our water? We get our water uh, from bottled water. Now, there are many people who have um, uh, UV light purification systems. I don't particularly believe in them, and you can go watch a video I made about that. But um, there's also reverse osmosis, and there's controversy about that too, uh, because it takes the minerals out of the water that your body needs. But this isn't a video about water purification. The question is, how do I get my water? I get my water from a truck that comes around about once a week and gives me five-gallon jugs full of water, and they cost 20 pesos each, which is like... A dollar, one U.S. dollar. Uh, do you think the local private hospital is safe and good? Well, I just did a video about the new hospital here. There are a number of different kinds of health care available in Mexico. One of them is government health care, and it's health care for the masses. You will have to wait long times. It's socialized medicine. Lynn and I have that. It's I-M-S-S, -S, and it's very good for ongoing chronic care. We get a lot of her meds through IMSS, but um, like I said, it's health care for the masses. It's a crowded system. IMSS is required uh, coverage from employers for employees in Mexico. 
everybody that has a job is eligible or their employer is required to give them IMSS. It's a crowded, uh, busy system. The care is good, but it's socialized medicine. You got to wait for, you know, specialists if you're going to get an appointment like that or something. The other kind of care is private care, and private care is world class. Are the hospitals clean? The government hospitals? No. Uh, they might not be. The private hospitals? Absolutely. Um, I did a video about a brand new one here at Lakeside, and um, it's over there in San Antonio. And is it clean? Yeah, it's spotless. I don't know what to say about that. Is it safe? <laughs> yes, it's safe. Uh, do the places you go have standard levels of cleanliness? Most of them do. And this, questions like this just bug me. And the reason they bug me is because I know that there are many, many places in all parts of the world that are not clean and it's hidden and the United States is no exception I'm not picking on the United States but you know things are not as clean as you think does it appear to be clean yes it appears to be clean here just like anywhere else is there a standard of cleanliness um, when my maid comes to clean my house there's a great standard of cleanliness how do you buy furniture? Well, I go to a furniture store. And uh, how do I get home repairs? I call home repairmen. <laughs> uh, and incidentally, here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, most of the home repairmen, whether it's an electrician or a plumber or a you know, guy that replaces windows or you know the roofers or the painters or whatever many 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 of them speak English and do a great job at a cost that is enjoyable <laughs> do you get ripped off a lot or robbed a lot no you don't get ripped off or robbed a lot there's always this question about is there a is there a Mexican price for Mexicans and a gringo price for gringos? And when I was first here, you know, it's something you really try to pay attention to and you always wonder about. There is a little bit of that, but after living in Mexico for nearly 20 years, I can tell you there isn't as much of it as you think. Um, it, it, Mexicans are honest people. Do the locals hate you for living in a mansion along all the poverty, or do you live in an area where everyone is rich like you? Well, let's back up one assumption. I'm not rich. I'm living on my Social Security. <laughs> uh, the locals in the North Shore of Lake Chapala do not resent us. Um, when the 2016 election was it was becoming apparent that there may be a new president in the United States that Mexicans are not fond of. Uh, the powers that be here, I'm talking about the mayor of Chapala and the police chief, had a meeting in the town plaza. Uh, you may have heard me talk about this before, uh, because I've mentioned it before in videos. They had a meeting in the town plaza, and the message to all of the invited expats, Americans, Canadians, Europeans, there's a lot of us here, um, the message was, you're a welcome part of the community, we value your contribution to the community, please know that you will still continue to be welcome here no matter what happens north of the border. That was the message. So do the locals resent us here? I'm sure you can find some who do, but for the most part, they appreciate us being here. We provide jobs. Um, maids and gardeners here on the North Shore of Lake Chapala make more money than in lots of other places where expats are not a part of the population. Um, I can tell you from personal experience that uh, the people that I've 
um, hired to do jobs for me, whether it's, you know, the maid, the gardener, the pool guy, uh, or uh, people that help me build my house. Uh, we've become family, and there isn't any better way to say that. It's not a resentful uh, relationship. It's an appreciative relationship going both ways. My phone keeps shutting off. Sorry. Oh, the rest of that question was like, do you live in an area where everyone is rich like you? I live in an area where there are a lot of people who have the financial ability to live anywhere in the world that they would like. Now, I'm not talking about my neighborhood, okay? Right over that way, there are three five-bedroom houses, and they're all owned by Guadalajarans who come down for the weekend. Right over there are some condominiums, and two of them are occupied by... Um, expats, people retired from the United States, and then several of them are owned by Guadalajarans who come down for the weekend. So there's a misconception in the question when you say, do you, you just live with a bunch of rich people like you? Well, two misconceptions. First of all, I'm not rich. And secondly, rich people are not necessarily foreigners who live in this area. <laughs> It's the weekend destination for five million Guadalajarans um, where there's a rising middle class and also a very significant rich class. I'm talking about real rich. There are houses here that cost millions of dollars. And they're not all owned by foreigners. They're owned by Guadalajarans. So do I live in a rich neighborhood? I don't live in a rich neighborhood. Um, because I have lakefront property, it's a valuable property, but it's not a rich neighborhood. Um, my closest neighbor is a gardener. Uh, do you feel your rights and life is protected and safe there? Is there justice? There's a great misconception in many parts of the world, most of them north of the Mexican border, that Mexico is a lawless land. Mexico is a democracy. Mexico has a constitution. Mexico's constitution guarantees people's rights. One of them, for instance, is the guarantee that people can own guns to protect themselves on their own property. It's one of very few countries in the world which has a constitutional amendment that says the people of the country, the citizens, have the right to bear arms. It's the second amendment in the United States, and I believe it's the tenth amendment in the Constitution of Mexico. Just as a for instance of do you have rights? Yes, Mexicans have rights. Is there justice? <laughs> yeah, there's justice. There's legal justice, and then there's other kinds of justice. And if you're in Mexico, behave. I'm not insinuating that you will be in danger. I am saying, and it's not an insinuation, it's a fact, if you're a bad guy, you're in danger. If you're not a bad guy, you're probably safer here than you are in many other parts of the world. So do I feel safe? Yes. Is life protected? Yes. Is there justice? Oh yeah, there's justice. That's the end of the questions from Jim Levy. Thank you, Jim. You've made it easy for me to make a video today. Thanks for watching. Oh. As I start to get up, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. I hurt my back, <clears throat> and I can hardly walk. But uh, it's not a new thing. It's not my first rodeo with a injured back. 
it's just muscle strain right back there down and where things all hook together and I'll be okay but you might hear this kind of a voice for a while <laughs> don't worry I'll be I'll be fine hey if you like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.